We're here today in the Ranger Study Centre uh, as part of a journalism course that we're running in partnership with Glasgow Clyde College. Uh, and we're quite fortunate enough that for Mark Heatley to come in and the children get a, an opportunity to interview Mark as part of uh, their course. A great experience for, for not only myself but for the kids. You know, they, they come out of the school into a different learning environment, into, uh, uh, into an area or a place where it's all new for them. Um, you know, you, you're taking in the surroundings of a, you know, a great football club like this on a course um, it's you know obviously part of the school curriculum, um, you know, and it's 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 great to you know to, to be able to sort of ask the you know answer the right questions that are, are thrown at you. You know the, you know the, when you when you're growing up, it's it's you know at this at this sort of age it can be a difficult period. Um, and my experiences, you know, through through my dad and you know being dragged all over the country, twelve different schools growing up. Um, you know, hopefully it can it can offer them. Uh, a little bit of experience and a little bit of guidance as, as well as as well as some really good questions that come flying at you. They had a fantastic time, it's something they built up for a few weeks knowing that we were going to interview Mark and um, we've been preparing some questions. We've also been working with Lauren um, on a little journalism course up here for the last few weeks and uh, I think the kids were actually able to put all their skills into practice today. And put Mark at his ease very quickly and uh, it was a, some very searching questions. The course is a kind of mixture of kind of written journalism, uh, match reporting, uh, interview skills, children get a, a, a chance to commentate on iconic goals that the Maradona hand of God, Archie Gemmell against Holland and it's we're trying to make it as fun as possible for the children uh, as, as well as educational. It's been an exceptional experience for me anyway. Um, and and part of you know uh, part of part of, obviously part of the football club is a lot of the community, you know, and these kids you know live in and around this community. So it's 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 great to be able to to have that partnership with them, you know, and uh, show them what the club's all about. But also you know keep them um, keep them keen and keep them eager to learn in in, in different sort of atmospheres I think that's the the important side you know it's you know it's not just a classroom where you sit down and learn stuff it's in and around and and and, and we offer that and we've been doing that now for, for a long long time the more engaging innovative learning opportunities you can provide for young, young children the better and again they've certainly benefited as we have in previous years from coming to the Ibrook Study Centre and other places again it gets the kids out gets them to see what's going on gives them a different perspective on things and they thoroughly respond to it Study Centre's got a lot of good partnership uh, work going. Uh, we first of all decided to do a bit of sport, then computing. We offer cyber security and computer gaming as well, and then it kind of led to, to journalism, so it was, a, it was a good fit. We've been very, very fortunate uh, working with Mr Shark in the Rangers uh, Study Centre here, and that led to this little journalism course we've been doing, which the kids have thoroughly enjoyed. And again, it's all about developing all these different life skills, and the more partnerships that we can develop, then the better for the benefit of the children.